in Hillsboro. You see behind me right now, there's a home that's been damaged a little bit early. We were on US 70 by Twin Oaks Drive. This is where the tornado first touched down here in Hillsboro and then moved its way through the other area. Joining us now live is the sheriff here. Sheriff, can you tell us what's going on? So, yes, thank you. Um, we received reports around 430, 445 of a touchdown of a tornado just south of Hillsboro on old NC-86. We're about 100 yards south of I-40 interchange in old 86. Um, we were told that a house had been destroyed. Of course, you can see behind me it has been destroyed. Uh, no one was living there. Uh, so we don't have any casualties or injuries as a result of this storm, which is a very good thing. It appears that the storm stayed on the ground for approximately 400 yards, mm -hmm. moving in a north-northeasterly direction. Which would be that way? Yes, sir, that's yep. correct. It came across at an angle and went towards the UNC Hospital North Campus, or the Hillsborough Campus. We've been over there, our deputies checked in, and everybody's fine there. Mm -hmm. There's also a Durham Technical Institute, the Durham Community College is right over there. They are reporting some debris damage to cars, and we've checked on those, but again, very fortunate that there are no casualties. We can see behind you, you can see that some of the trees, they snapped off about halfway or two-thirds of the way up, and then it looks like it may have touched down here because the damage is more severe here. Yep. And then it looks like you say it lifted because those trees over there, once again, they we're looking at them, they're halfway. That's, that's correct. It, it appears to have come over the hill. And, you know, these storms, we don't know why or how they do what they do. They just do it. And uh, it's it's like a train. It's coming and it'll go away, but it, it's, it you can't stop it. So it went across the road. It appears to have gone and tracked across I-40 towards the Durham campus, but we don't have any significant damage once it left this area. And we did have some damage down by a Twin Oaks Drive in US-70, but again, it was very minor damage. Right, right. The residents down there saying it never really touched down. It was about 100 feet in the air. Right, right. Well, that that's consistent. Now, I do have one person that actually saw the storm as it came across Davis Road, which mm -hmm. is just south of us. Um, and he said it, he could see it was tracking this direction, but he couldn't tell whether it was actually on the ground or, or just a hovering cloud. We're literally about maybe 50 to 75 yards away from the entrance and exit ramp to uh, US uh, 40, interst uh, Interstate 40, I should say, right here by Old 86. It looks like that road might have been shut down for a, for a short time because of the debris. The old ramp was. We yeah. had a couple of trees that fell out of this uh, grove of trees here across that, that entrance ramp, but the, the, the officials got here and got that cut out of the way relatively fast. How lucky do you count yourself that twice when this tornado came near populated areas, it didn't hurt anybody? Well, I think that it's uh, a blessing and a little bit of luck. Sheriff, I thank you very much for taking the time with speaking with us live. And again, we're here on Old US 86. Let's take